when the rain come, we always have problem with flooding. But when the rain stop, we have problem with drought, no water to use. We did not think about how to collect rain water in the past. So we have a lot of problem. But now we need to think about how we collect rain water. To make a giant tank is a good experiment for us. We start to build the first giant tanks 10 years ago to experiment how can we solve the pro water problem in many communities. The first tank that we built is about 6 meters diameter and 3 meters height. It's quite big. And when we make the water tank, we should not make it square shape like this because it's not good for kicking force. It can break easily. Make it round is the best. Making the giant water tank, we start from weaving bamboo to reinforce the cement at the floor. Put thick weaving bamboo and the pipe, drain it pipe, and then we pour concrete over it. At least the concrete at the floor have to be six inches at least. And before the concrete dry, we put the bamboo stick. Stick in the concrete before it dry. It's about one foot far apart. When the concrete dry, we use the long bamboo strip to weave around this stick very close together. At the beginning, we have only one layer of bamboo weaving and plaster both sides of them. Make it thick about three inches. That is enough. It's so good, so strong. But later on, people feel like uh, it's not strong. In, they don't feel like it's strong enough. They do double weaving bamboo and pour concrete in the middle like this. So it makes it stronger, but it costs more money. It's funny. People, whenever they pay more money, they feel better because they have a lot of money. But if you don't want to pay more money, just one layer of bamboo weaving, round shape like this, and you plaster with cement, that's good enough. They are so strong. And then uh, the pipe, the drained pipe, if we build on top of the, on the hill, on the high area, we need to dig a trench so we can drain water very well from the tank. The drainage pipe have to be at the bottom, very low, the lowest area. It's good to pour the concrete and slope to the drainage pipe. When we clean the tank, it will be easy. But the water pipe, water supply that we're going to use water, it have to be above the ground at least one, uh, at least five inches. All the dust and everything will settle below the pipe so we can use only clean water after that. And then when it's too much, we can open the valve of the drainage pipe to clean up everything. So it's quite easy to man manage to maintain it, to take care of it. If we build the giant tank in the hill, in the mountain area, it's good to build in the high area. We can dig underground more, maybe two meters underground and one meters above the ground or two meters above the ground is okay. But if you build in the flat area, we can build above the ground. So we can use gravity to draw the water out of the tank to use. So it's quite important to think about how to get the water to fill up the tank. Like if we build in the mountain area, we need to collect rainwater in the higher area and bring all the rainwater in the higher area to fill up our tank and then we can use it after the rain stop. Building a giant tank, we don't need to buy metal. We use all bamboo to replace the metal. So it saves quite a lot of money. And many areas we use sand in their area. So we buy only cement. 
meters. Some of them is bigger than 10 meters diameters, more than 4 meters height. They can collect more than 100,000 liters of water. So it's very good way to collect rainwater.